Hey guys, welcome back to a Top 10 Polls of the Week episode. My name is Ian. The channel is If Sports Cards. Thank you so much for joining me. I uh, hope you're having a great day, week, weekend, whenever it is. If you're joining me for the live premiere, feel free to say hello. I promise I'll say it back if I see it anyway. But uh, April Fool jokes are over, which is good. We had multiple people claiming to have uh, pulled the LeBron triple logo man, which if that did happen... Maybe you see it today. I don't know. But uh, also, I heard Jimmy G was traded to the Panthers for like a second round pick this year and a fourth the next year. And I was like, what? Luckily, that was also a rumor. At least I hope. But uh, all that's over with. This week, we have a pretty awesome list for you guys. I want to thank everybody who helped make this list. Thank you guys so much for reaching out, whether it was Instagram or or uh, email, any of those work. But uh, we got some pretty cool cards to show you this week. So Let's get into the honorable mentions, and then we'll get into our top 10 polls of the week. And then we'll wrap it up, and you guys can get on with your day. But uh, I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you again in a second. All right, it's time to get into our honorable mentions this week. And we have three, and I'm pretty sure all three are making their debut on this list this week. But we're going to start off with West End Breaks. They're opening 2021 Mosaic Football, and this is a blaster box. Check out this poll. We got an orange. Here we go. There's Patrick Sertan on the NFL debut. Everyone, perk up. We got an orange. All right, y'all. It is a rookie orange niner. That's a very nice poll. Mosaic Retail is just hitting hard for everyone except for me, and that is just fine. That is an awesome poll. I would love to have this card, but uh, I'm just happy to show it to you guys here. But our second audible mention is from Such Great Breaks, and they are also opening some Mosaic Retail. This is out of a mega box. Check out what they pulled. Nick Chubb for the Browns and our stained glass... Oh my god! Oh my! Paul P just hit the jackpot! Oh my! A glass mosaic Trevor Lawrence. That is an awesome pull, especially out of retail. I got this one at about $550, so that's like a 10x the cost of that retail box, which is always fun to do. That's very cool. Let's head to our third one. We are with Heads Up Sports Cards, and we haven't seen this product in quite some time. We have 2021 Tops Triple Threads, and when this product first came out, we saw a bunch of pulls out of this product. It's really, really cool. And uh, here's a really cool poll. Get the f out of here right now. <laughs> 124 out of 199. Guys, we have a effing monster coming up. This is number three of nine. Three of nine. We have f it. <laughs> Griffey Trout and Acuna Triple Relic Triple Auto. What the <laughs> That's a fantastic card right there with three of the game's best players. And I got this one at $2,500 based on recent eBay sales. So not too bad for the last honorable mention. That means we're getting into some high dollar cards here in the top 10. Let's get into it. At number 10, we're with Future Breaks and they're opening 2021 Contenders Football. Out of 25, Mac Jones. Bang. Holy shit. There's a banger to kick us off. That's a $4,000 card. At least that's what the last sale on eBay was. The, the card looks more square than it probably should be. I'm not sure what the formatting is going on here, but uh, don't worry. That is a regular size card, and it's the first one off the line there. That's pretty cool. At number nine, we're with Run Good Life, 
and he's opening 2021 Playbook Football, and it's called Playbook for a reason, guys. Check out this poll. Oh, God. I'm shaking. I am I am shaking. Whoo, bo oh my god. I don't want to touch that card. <laughs> I don't get that card away from me. Get that card away from me. Holy cow, get that card away from me. Any card that puts you in the coffin pose, <laughs> that's that's an awesome card. I wouldn't want to touch it either. But uh, there's a little backstory to this card. A viewer in the chat bought the spot for the Chargers spot off a guy who was on a hot streak. And once you know it, his hot streak would have continued if he would have just kept his spot. But, you know, it's nice of him to share the wealth a little bit. This is a $5,000 card in my estimation. I know booklets aren't everyone's favorites, but uh, this is a big card. A, Ch a Chargers fan would definitely love to have this one. At number eight, we're with Carl Zhao, which I know you look at the picture at the top, it says Platinum something, but the breaker's name is Carl Zhao. Uh, this is a Peng Zai. My Chinese buddy sent me this one over, and I was shocked to see it wasn't flawless basketball. We have a poll from 2021 Bowman Draft Baseball. Done. <laughs> I don't know what they just said, but it was very synchronized. That was pretty awesome. Uh, based on eBay sales, I got this at $7,000. There were two red lavas, which is just a little bit different than this true red that sold for that same price. So I'm going to hold it there. The black wave one one sold for 10 K. So I don't want to go too much more than the seven. We'll, we'll hold it at seven K. That is an amazing card at number seven. We're with Jaspi's case breaks. They're opening 2021 mosaic. This is a hobby pull, but still absolutely incredible. Check it out. New coach, new scheming that, that might be very helpful. Wow, a one of one Tom Brady. I was like, that black parallel looks like it could be, and it was. David O. Odenweller. David, congrats. A one of one Tom Brady. That is awesome. And in looking for comps on this on eBay, I saw that the black Patriots Uni card sold for $8,000. And I'm going to hold this one at 8000 as well. I did see the Nebula 101 in his Bucks Uni sold for 12k though. But uh, I think that Nebula parallel commands a little bit higher dollar than this black. But still, an awesome pull. At number 6, we're with Backyard Breaks. And they're opening 2021 Immaculate Football. Oh my god. 101! Oh my god. And this might be old school. Man. Oh my god. Joey! <laughs> That's such a sick card. And I just want to remind you guys, this isn't their rookie year. 2021 is their second year. Otherwise, this would be definitely higher on the list. In looking for comps on eBay, I saw that a 2020 National Treasures Dual Auto, numbered out of five, that is their rookie year, sold for 10 k This is a 101. It's their second year, but I think the two might kind of net themselves out. I think this is going to be about a 10 k card as well. Snagging the fifth spot this week is Mojo Break, and he's opening a 2020-21 Flawless Basketball Briefcase live at the Mint this past weekend. Check out this poll. Break it from the Mint, guys. Buy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, but that's the best. Woohoo! Whoa! Whoa! D-Lo, that's the one everybody's excited about right here. D'Angelo <laughs> Russell Diamond. <laughs> and a boom for the Charlotte Hornets. Congrats. 
14 of 25 vertical RPA Hornets. Andrew, congrats, Andrew. 14 of 25. Wow. If off camera will focus. That's a pretty massive card. This is $14,000 based on the last sale on eBay. This isn't the true RPA, otherwise it would be a lot more than that. This is the Signature Prime Materials out of 25. But uh, in this same case, they pulled a logo man of Onieka Okangwu, which probably would have fell just outside the top 10 this week, but I thought it was worth mentioning. At number four, we're with Leighton Sports Cards and their opening 2022 Tops Inception Baseball. Who's got the Rays? Waylon L. Waylon, you better buckle up. You better book your ticket. One of one! Wander Franco! Patch Auto Rookie for the Rays! Boom! No way! That is such a beautiful card, and this is the hardest one to comp on this week's list. The The closest comp I could find was a Top Series 1 Gold Auto out of 20, and that sold for $9,000. I'm putting this one at about $15,000. That, that could be off, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful card. Unfortunately, though, if you look at the top left corner of the card... It does have a pretty massive ding there. You know, you're not going to find one in a better condition. I think Forrest even says that in this video, but still, you, you hate to see that. At number three this week, we're with Hitman Rips, and he's opening a 2020-21 Prism Basketball Fast Break Box. Let's see what he pulled. Let's be mellow. That is huge if it's a mellow. Good luck. Good luck, Max. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Let's see if it's jersey number, guys. One of five on the mellow. Corners look decent, too. I mean, wow. That is insane. What a card. A lamello ball prism out of five is huge. Now, in comparing this one, the closest one I could find was a gold shimmer numbered out of 10 that sold for 15K. I do think the gold shimmer probably commands an equal value from this green, even though it's numbered out of five. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm going to hold it at 15K here as well. Oh, and I almost forgot. Did I make if, if sports top 10 this week? <laughs> Shout out to If Sports, by the way. If I'm if I'm on If Sports, shout out If Sports. What's going on, man? Yeah, you, you made it. Number three is not too bad either. <laughs> Congratulations, Hitman. At number two this week, we're with Mamba Cards, and they're opening 2021 Flawless Basketball. What do we have? What do we have? Uh-oh. Bro. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. No. Oh, my Uh-oh. God. It's a logo, man. Gems. Oh! It's a logo man jumps we have a logo man jumps That is such a sick card. We've seen this a few times now and I keep using the same curry. That's the only one that's sold so far. That sold for 20k a while ago now. But uh, I'm going to put this one just under that at 18K. It's no joke, though. That is an amazing pull. And our number one pull this week comes from Platinum Card Breaks opening 2021 Flawless Basketball. And they opened 10 cases for Drake and Shine, who is a very avid card collector, investor in the hobby. A lot of people know who he is. Massive Instagram following, but this was the top card pulled that night, and it is a sweet one. Check it out. And he's following us. Lulu, four of five. My Adam man. Patch wow. Auto. wow, that's a monster. That's actually nice as f- That's really huge. Game used Luke yes, out of that's five. Nice. That's a big boy. And, it's, and that's our lucky number right there, four or five, baby. 
Now, I know that was really hard to see, so here is a picture of the actual card. But, uh, yeah, they didn't pull any logo mains, which was crazy. But they did pull this very awesome Luca. Uh, the horizontal version of this, the Emerald Out of 5, sold for 14 k I've been doubling the verticals from the horizontal. So I got this one at $28,000. But, you know, Drake is still looking for triple logo man. Just hasn't got one yet. And I think the longer he has to wait, the better the hobby benefits from it. But uh, it is fun to see. But that'll do it for today's show, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the polls. I hope I didn't miss anything too crazy. You know, I tried to find some some cool polls, which I tried to find an F1 poll specifically. I watched a ton of the Topps Chrome stuff, which that's been out for two or three weeks now. But uh, I found one really cool card. I, there was no video that I could find of it, though. So I am planning on watching the F1 racing again this weekend. They have the, I think it's Australia race. On Sunday, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. If you guys haven't watched the F1 racing, they put on a pretty good show. So I will recommend that you do that. But let's look at the products coming out this next week. Uh, clearly, Donruss football is coming out. Might see something from there. Uh, Prism Draft Picks Basketball. I'm not so sure. Maybe. The collegiate stuff's usually not too crazy valued. But Prism WWE. That one's intriguing. I hope we see something cool out of that. But... That will do it for today, guys. I'll let you get on with your day. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it, and I'm glad you guys enjoy these. If you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the videos and the channel, and I greatly appreciate that. We will see you on Monday for a mail day. But until then, you guys be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.